Hi guys, Varun here from Phone99. We have an interesting device to unbox today. It's not a phone, it's not a tablet, but it's a full computer packed into a really tiny form factor. Yes, it's the Intel Compute Stick as you can see here. And it actually, this is the uh, Windows uh, version. It actually ships in two variants, the Windows version and the Ubuntu version. So this is the Windows version which is actually shipping for $149 in the US. That's about roughly about um, 9,000 rupees or so. And for that, you get a full-blown uh, Windows running on something like a Chromecast, the size of it. So, it's actually powered by an Intel Atom quad-core processor, as you can see here. And uh, these are the hardware uh, ports. And we'll show it to you once we open up the box itself. And uh, it's calling Intel is calling it an ultra-slim computer. And the best part about this is that it turns any HDMI display into a full computer. So, that's what the speciality of this device and the whole compute stick itself and you don't need anything else you just need to plug it uh, into a monitor or a TV or any device with an HDMI input and a display out and you're going to be getting full windows running on it instantly so we're going to be taking a look at that let's actually quickly unbox it before we uh, take a look so so yeah let's slide it open and take a look at the uh, stick itself so this is the Intel inside logo on the front and yeah slightly big for a TV dongle but then it packs a full fledged operating system on the inside it's got 30 GB of storage and obviously after Windows install you'll be left with lesser amount of storage on the inside and as you can see uh, the reason it's big it's got a full size USB port on the uh, left side it's a USB 2.0 port and the best part it takes power via a micro USB port so you can even if your TV has USB, you can even supply that. It needs a 5 volt uh, power. And this is the power switch. And this is the HDMI itself. So we'll put that in uh, on the monitor we have here. We have an AOC 27 inch monitor here. There's a micro SD card slot as well in case you want to expand the storage. And uh, so pretty lightweight. Um, I'm actually surprised that they have uh, included a power switch here because I was figuring out how do you turn it off. It's a full fledged computer. And once you have it in your TV or monitor, there's no way you can uh, control it. I don't want you don't be accessing the back, so we'll take a look at the other box contents as well. So as you can see, this is the uh, back. It says Intel Compute Stick, and it's got a 5 volt, 2 ampere rating for the power. So it's got a MAC address, considering it's a full-blown uh, Windows machine in the palm of your hand. So. Yeah, it's like probably the size of a palm, so <laughs> kind of excited to actually try it on. So before that, we'll actually take a look at the box contents itself. So as you can see, it's nine indications of what's there on the device and the box itself. And let's actually take a look at what else is here. So you get McAfee antivirus. Now that actually McAfee is owned by Intel, so this compute stick is actually shipping with free uh, a one-year subscription of uh, McAfee antivirus. So that's that. Quick start guide. Mm. Yeah, how do you install it? And all that stuff. And wow, okay. So my question has been answered. So you actually included a HDMI ex extender on the box itself. So yeah, in the box. So you don't have to be actually fiddling with the back of your TV or your disc monitor. You can actually plug it in, like very similar to the uh, Chromecast as well. There was an HDMI extender for that. Uh, so put this in and plug it into your TV or monitor and you have access to it. So that's that. Let's put this aside for a second and you get a micro USB cable for the power charger. And you also get a set of plugs. So this is the actual um, AC plug itself. So this is the AC plug. And there's a USB uh, out, out here and actually an in here for the wall outlet. So considering uh, Intel is actually plugging this as a portable computing. So you have actually plugs for different countries here. So this is kind of impressive. Considering I bought this device in the US, I can expect this to have a European plug. It makes it easier for us to actually use it here in India. So you have a, U a Euro plug or Indian plug. You have a UK or Hong Kong plug. You have the US plug as well, two pin. And also you have this, I think I think it's an Australian plug. So you have global plugs in the box, which is 
really impressive uh, so you just need to slide this in and voila you have the power supply for the um, computer stick so I don't know if we'll be using it considering I think that does the we'll try the USB out from the monitor itself so so that's what is in the box you get uh, the uh, wall adapter with multiple uh, inputs uh, for different countries you have a micro USB cable and you also have an HDMI extender bending cable and then the computer stick itself so let's now actually get it on a TV and show you a quick demo so here we have the uh, Compute stick here, wired uh, and connected to the uh, 27 inch monitor here by HDMI. So you see the LED uh, being indicated, we're actually getting power from a power bank here. It's also a 5 volt 2 ampere charging power bank. So we have that here. And we also have the AC adapter in case not work. But we're going to try it to power on the device itself. So we've connected it and powered it on. So let's actually flip the monitor now. You can see here it shows Intel Compute stick. So it looks like we're getting set all set and it's going to be booting into Windows 8. It's a still a few steps away once still we get till we're getting into the OS. So it's we're setting things up for you. So I think it's almost done in the Windows 8.1 setup uh, final stages. And uh, it's pretty much common with any Windows uh, device, even a Lumia phone or even a Windows tablet. So this is happening on the computer stick on the TV, uh, TV or monitor right now. So the um, computer stick in, in terms of the internals, it's powered by an Intel Atom uh, 3735 quad core processor on the Bay Trail family. It's got 2 GB of RAM, 32 GB of inbuilt storage. And the RAM and storage are like fix it, can't be easily actually sold out. As you can see, it's a pretty small device. You have so much of computing power packed into it. And uh, But in terms of storage, you can actually expand the storage by using the micro SD card slot and uh, the RAM is also sold out so you can't do anything about it. Um, you have built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth uh, 4.0 and uh, you have a full-size USB port. So the best way to use this in case you need more uh, ports is to just use a small USB hub on the USB port. Like as of now we're using just a mouse uh, here uh, which is an RF mouse from Logitech. We also have a Microsoft keyboard here which passes via Bluetooth. So that way you can actually get the basic stuff done and in case you need more wired peripherals you need to use the USB port it's actually impressive that they actually have managed to include a USB port full size on the device um, so it's still uh, going on so you can use this for a variety of purposes I can think of a lot of use cases for this if you had been watching the PC space or uh, even the computing space for some time uh, like probably for a longer time you must be familiar with the term thin clients uh, if you're at office at uh, like even at public kiosk and stations you might, might have seen these small boxes uh, which are uh, actually referred to as thin clients so uh, the computer stick is a perfect example of being a thin client because it has a very small form factor right? it can be almost invisible if you pack it uh, behind a monitor and then it requires very little power you don't need a separate cpu or anything you only have uh, just a small dongle sitting at the back of a screen and it's driving the entire machine and uh, it's also maintenance free um, because it's sealed you don't have any movable parts so it's going to be uh, pretty much uh, sealed uh, so you don't have anything else uh, so it's going to be have very reliable in terms of operation and also very cost effective it's like 150 dollars and for the linux version is even cheaper it's 119 dollars so in that price say for 9000 rupees you're getting a full fledged pc not the high-end pc but more like a work get get work done PC uh, like you can I'm sure you're going to be doing a lot you can do a lot of browsing you can do a video playing you can do even document editing uh, you're going to be actually trying all that and letting you know on the review but for now we're going to be actually trying to show you a demo of the uh, computer stick um, running on Windows 8.1 so let's try actually first to pair this keyboard here and get rid of this uh, on-screen keyboard so let's add devices let's put this in pairing so here we have this mobile keyboard here, so we're just going to be trying to pad it. So yes, we have pad here, so we have the keyboard set now. So now we have the keyboard set up, the mouse set up as well. So here, it's actually amazing how we have been driven by a, a tiny device like this. It's not uh, slow at all, it's snappy, the OS. So it's connected to the Wi-Fi network. Um, so let's actually go on to the metro mode 
the browser. It is not the fastest machine out there. <laughs> it's like it's taking some time to boot up. Uh, so yeah, so let's actually open up. Okay, I think it's picking up this from my Hotmail account, which I've used to sign in. So here we have, it's uh, loading it pretty quick. Um, so here we have it, so here, uh, it's on the Intel website, so we're just scrolling through that. And it's amazing how a dumb monitor has been turned into a smart computer in a minute of, in a matter of minutes with a single device. So, it's enough for people browsing the web, uh, doing some amount of uh, editing and stuff like that. So I'm going to be trying to install more programs on it and try the performance. I think flash video and uh, video is kind of slowing down the web page performance, but once it loads, it's pretty quick. So it looks like a new XUV is coming. And here we have some embedded YouTube videos. Well, actually, let's go ahead and play it. It's going to YouTube. So let's actually try playing this. I'm going to be just muting the audio just for uh, reference. So I'm going to be changing the settings to like 1080p. The monitor is actually 1080p. So we're seeing if the computer stick can drive 1080p YouTube video. That's that. And let's try um, doing something else. So you have one note here. So let's actually open up one note. So let's try um, something else here. The Skype as well. So this actually, let's actually quickly take a look at the computer configuration here. So let's actually go in here and settings go to PC info and show you what the configuration is. It's actually an Intel Atom Z3735 um, clocked at uh, 1.33 gigahertz here. Actually goes up, goes up uh, in burst speed faster. Uh, so it's 2 GB of RAM. It's 32 bit operating system, but it's 64 bit processor. Um, so it's the device here, Windows 8, 0.1 with Bing. So as you can see, yeah, there's 18.8 .8 GB of free storage out of the 21.9 GB of storage they claim. Not too bad, you're losing about, I think roughly about 12 GB to the OS, which is fine considering it's full Windows 8. So you have uh, maps as well, OneDrive, camera, there's no camera here, so there's not going to be points. You have email, you have photos, you have Skype. If you have a web camera which connects to a USB, you can probably use it for even Skype calls. Uh, so that's that. So Bluetooth devices, PC info, we already saw that. So let's open up IE again. And let's actually try opening some other web, web page. So let's actually see how quick it loads the page. So so yeah, so it seems pretty decent for browsing and uh, all that. So the best part is you can actually use uh, devices via Bluetooth and uh, this is actually not a Bluetooth mouse, but it's connected via dongle. But if in case you have a Bluetooth mouse, you don't even need to use USB port. So here yeah, you have the Windows key. Let's actually try if the Windows key works. So yeah, shortcuts work. So apart from that, uh, this is the Intel Compute Stick um, driving the 27-inch uh, AOC monitor. It can even drive a bi much bigger TV. It's just going to change and scale based on the resolution. So this is a 1080p monitor. In case you even have a 50-inch 1080p TV, it's going to be driving it the same way. This is just 27 inches. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with what this can do. And I'm like uh, interested to kind of trying multiple apps on it like say Office, OneNote and all that. And the best part is you don't have to do everything on it. It can be used as a presentation device. Um, like say you're at Office, you want to use it for presentations, you can just uh, use this. It's a much more sophisticated version of what you guys might be knowing the Chromecast very well. It's just a uh, out, display out device, but this is much more than that. Um, so it's got a lot of power packed into it. Um, it's an Intel Atom quad-core processor on the inside. We have expandable storage on the micro USB front. And the funny part is we're actually driving it via a power bank here. So you can actually use uh, the charger supplied. I would recommend we use, you use the charger supplied in the box. But then we actually got it booted and working with a power bank. So it's pretty cool how a device as small as this can actually get you a full work machine here. So here we have uh, the computer stick here. So I just want to show you how quick it boots from uh, like now power off state to 
fully working state booting into windows so this is a power button yeah, i'm going to be just powering it on just press this switch here as you can see the monitor turned from orange to blue so you see the intel bios uh, screen shortcuts here f2 f7 and all that so it's powered by 32 gb uh, emmc so it's pretty quick ssd for a boot so we are right lane i'm going to be if I type in my password, it's going to go right into Windows 8. So, pretty quick for uh, let's actually try shutting down as well. And we'll do that one more time, like booting into the OS itself. So, I think it's powered off now. So, you can see the light is gone. So, we're going to be hitting power on again. So, it's going to be powering on. Barely a few seconds it takes to boot up. So, here we have it. Yeah. So that's it guys, so if you like the idea of the Intel Compute, stick to it a like on this video and do share this video and do subscribe to our channel if you've not done so already. So that was a quick unboxing and first look at the Intel Compute Stick, it's available for about $149 US uh, across the world.